All right, to correct myself from my last episode, this is going to be day three of Lilith's Pet Shop Marathon of the to season three, uh, trying to finish off season three after taking so long to even get it to get to it. Um, season three and four have already reached their conclusions, and who knows how long it's going to take me to get through those. But you know, since I started uh, Lilith's Pet Shop and it's a pretty decent show, I might as well finish off the entire thing. However, with each of those seasons probably being like what 26 episodes, it's going to be a long time. And also with the fact that since they're 20 something minutes long, and I'm already like pushing for time with 11 minute uh, uh, shows like Steven Universe and Star vs. Forces of Evil, it's going to take me a long long time because what takes two uh, what could be two up what could be two videos with uh, uh like two steve universe episodes it's one video for one little pet shop and it's equaling to two videos all in one it time management with these videos especially with different things that's why wander over yonder is a pretty particular good one since i heard that that's an 11 minute show i could be wrong about that i've never watched wander over yonder so that's true word of mouth from another person but uh, again, with the whole voting system, uh, a miraculous uh, ladybug or uh, wander over yonder is the vote choice for which one do you want me to get started on next. To, granted, you might only see three episodes to five to maybe even bleh, episodes uh, come out when I actually get started on them, and there might be long hiatuses for me to actually get back to them, but it, it'll be me getting into it either or, so just let that be said. So we're just going to get started into episode 24 of Lilith's Pet Shop. Let's go. 3, 2, 1 now. Space. The Final Frontier. Man has long wondered what it would be like to soar to the stars. Yep. Said by one of my favorite presidents. To go into space, there was a monkey. monkey. We'll be right back with a story on the Before My Time channel. Good for that monkey. Your great great grandpa was the first monkey in space? Oh, Minka, you're awesome. Yep, he was a hero. A groundbreaker. <laughs> you could say a space Britain, never mind. Would be related to such a big hero. Why? Because I've never done anything important like Grandpa Grinka? You've done something important. You've done many things important. You haven't done anything space breaking, but uh, I was I was hoping to avoid to, to say that. But you did things important in this show. Yeah, a couple of thousands, maybe hundreds, tens, tenths, eh. maybe half of that. Space travel. I want to do something earth-shattering like Grandpa Grinka did. Oh, I could invent a glass orb that lights up when you click a switch. Yeah, so we never had that before. That's scary. Vinny, you get, you gotta, you gotta get that checked. You must conduct a lot of electricity. Well, with all that dancing, I could believe that. You'd be surprised. I heard that there was a project going on where people were going to Mars. I'm not really into it, so I never really cared enough to really look far into it, but hey, there's that. Who knows? It might go well. Maybe. Probably. Hopefully. Probably not. They're not going to Mars. But if they do, that's cool. So... Hopefully I can get these last three episodes done so I can then start posting them out because while I'm doing this, none of the uh, original episodes that you've probably seen at this point while watching this one have been out. And I kind of hate holding on to these episodes for so long because it could be me getting started on because I do have still people saying that Lil's Pet Shop and Star Wars Force of Evil and like any other things that I've reacted to is dead. It's mostly because I just never get around to getting to them. Here, and the dog says, that's okay, I'm not hungry. <laughs> the pinnacle of humor. So what the huh? Hey, just as funny as me I mean, when it comes to my reactions, right? All right, so it needs work. But I still have a week. A week until what? Mm. The school is having a student comedy show. Oh. I scored the coolest celebrity to judge it. Really? Who? Kevin Hart? Bob Flemingheimer. Okay, close enough, I guess. Late afternoon with Bob Flemingheimer? Late afternoon? Flemingheimer. I don't have a show like that. I wish I could meet him. Oh, yeah. Who's Bob Flemingsteiner? Yeah. He is Flemingheimer to you, Penny Ling. He's only the greatest late afternoon talk show host ever. Okay, late afternoon talk show host. So then more people come to my mind. Then now, let's get 
And of course, Pepper would know great comedians. Alright. I see the reference. I don't know the guy's name, but I see the reference. Promising young comedian who can usually be seen performing every day at Lilith's Pet Shop. Pepper! Pepper. With the pepper. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be here. So, yesterday my owner took me to school to show and smell. Show and smell. Get it? Ah, ah. <laughs> hmm. you know, skunks are smarter than you might think. After all, we make a lot of sense. <laughs> uh, but seriously, you know how to keep me from... Wow, that actually had a delayed reaction there. I actually got it. Oh, that's... Okay, the timing were, was off, but I got it. Sense, sense, sense. There's a different type of senses, sense. Ah, funny. Pepper, when in a dream state, is above the average of power level. I don't think so. I don't really know very many jokes. Oh, I understand. Hey, Blythe, ask me why I'm the funniest guy around. Oh, that's always a part of a great joke. Timing! Uh, keep working on it, Jasper. Yeah, man. One of the biggest things about comedy is timing and some sort of suffering in between. But that's mostly slap state comedy. When it comes to my kind of comedy, I make... Very one-sided statements that are clearly not smart. So it's kind of like, oh, it's the obvious. Oh, he's joking around, but no. Your dreams will never be accomplished as long as you keep that attitude. your dream is to crash into a wall. Unless you're crashing into a wall. I'm an astronaut in training. The tire swing stimulates the G forces I'll encounter in space. Why not the F forces? Why not the W forces? Z forces are the ones you need to look out for. Oh, now you're reminding me of No Man's Sky. I can see Mars straight ahead. Am I clear to land? I'll clear to land and something. I like how Russell's acting like a a, a, a pilot in a airplane. I forgot what they uh, whatever. Our intercom. Don't worry. Get sick maneuvering skills, bro. You always gotta have that one straggler. Maybe you should have made your ship out of more not banana like material if it's easy to be that easily bruised. I mean, you got ships that can tank like laser beams. Wow, okay. Oh yeah, she's gonna be just fine. Mink, we've done it. We've made your spaceship. What? She can stop midair. Oh, buttercream! Best character. Wow! Buttercream helped us outfit the baking canister with whipped cream cans. Oh. Now, if my yeah, calculations that... are correct, mm. the force of the whipped cream will propel the canister up, smashing through the roof mm -hmm. into space, mm -hmm. and all the way. You probably won't get two inches off the ground, but good on you. Let's give it a good try. First, we need a dry run. Mm. Bring in the test pilot. Hmm. Good luck. Now then, stand by if you at least hit the roof, I will be proud. One eh, about to. Yeah, I was pretty much correct about the whole two two inches off the ground thing. But hey, Sorry. good college try. I guess I failed. No, this prototype is a perfect first step. Mm -hmm. A tasty first step. Mm, nom, 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 I forgot the saying, but I it's it's that saying. This is do you want me to run it with reference? No. Okay. Well, that was easy. Hmm. You can make your dreams come true, then so can I. Well, technically, when you say when you can make your dreams come true, you would wait until the person achieved their dream, then to say, oh, okay. okay. You should say more of, uh, you inspire me to push forward on my dream as well, because you haven't reached it yet. One Mars quality spacesuit. Got it. Yay! I've got to get back to mission control. Thanks, Blight. Okay. Good job, Minka. What's your costume going to be? A person. Uh, 
person? Seems easy. And then I can't have a comedy contest at your school. Never mind. Uh, make me a pretty blonde lady with blue eyes. Oh, and give me a mustache. Mustaches are funny. All right, now people need to start making fan art of Pepper being exactly what she said with a mustache. It's not official unless the mustache is there. But I need to be a person to enter the comedy show at your school. <gasps> Even if you are a person, they can't really. You can enter the contest. Oh. Uh, just one prob. Like I told Jasper. I don't know any good jokes. Oh. How dare you? You're always funny. All you need to do is get on stage and deliver it. Hmm. Perfect. Please, Blythe. It's my dream in life to have Bob Flemingheimer hear my jokes. You're my only hope. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, that's some please, sick tail uh, tail power. You can't say. Wow, really? Throughout the entire. Okay. Hmm. All it takes is a good amount of determination to make your friends do what you want them to. Nah. Were you close this time? Strawberry whipped cream isn't any more powerful than vanilla. Hopefully, y'all can clean all that. We can't build a spaceship powerful enough to take Minka to Mars. You can't even make a spaceship powerful enough to get out of the actual, you know, general area. Suddenly, I am hungry. When I first took on this task, I had my doubts, but not anymore. Minka's dream has become my dream. To make Minka's dream come true. And beyond. I think you'll find that Mars is the place that she actually just wants to go to, but who knows? Neptune's pretty cool. But that doesn't mean Minka's dreams have to be shattered. I have an idea. Okay. No, Russell, at least thinking outside the box in this scenario. Good good job on you, Russell. Hey, you know why there are no seagulls down by the bay? Why? I'm I'm trying to process it. And after I teach them to you, you'll be ready to impress Oh bit ha <laughs> Okay. You know, it's not half bad. Again, I'm not being facetious, I'm I'm literally serious. These are not bad jokes. Great. Just giving my sense of humor, it's really bad. You almost got it. I just told that joke all wrong. See, that's another bad thing. People, you need note cards. This is why they had them. <laughs> so, a bartender said, We don't serve octopuses here. Come on in. <laughs> the, ir the irony. I forgot to say that there were three guys who walked into the room. And did I explain that the octopus can talk? No. See, it, the mouse sees the sea cucumber. See, in, in real life, sea cucumbers can't talk, but since it's a joke, I, I love Marlon. <laughs> no, Mrs. Twombly, you're supposed to laugh. I'm telling jokes. Best comic fish in the world. I've heard jokes before, and they didn't sound like those. Whoa, Mrs. Twombly dropping the truth bombs. Maybe you should enter a fashion contest instead. Oh, yeah, D at least... For jokes? Wow, come on, Twombly. <laughs> Element of honesty. But the right. I'm terrible at telling jokes. Oh, no. Yes. I just need a little more practice. Face it, Pepper. I'm no comedian. Yeah. <laughs> See, that was funny. Uh, I love your pronunciation of comedian. If I'm the one on stage. Well, what if you're not the only one on stage? What do you mean? How does this work? I'll get on stage with you. You know, like some comedians go on stage with a dummy, but. You're not a dummy. You're a. Thanks, a, smart yourself. Da. Seriously though, this is what we'll do. You go on stage and you tell the audience that I'm the funny one, and then I will whisper the jokes in your ear and you deliver them just the way I say them. Huh? I'm not so sure about this. Please, please, please. please you gotta give it a shot. Here we go. Pepper, master of persuasion. It's like, why are you walking so slow? <laughs> I knew she was walking slow on purpose. Amazing. Now, let's get 
Keep your helmet on and check our communications. Check, check. Can you hear me, Minka? I can hear you, but I can't see anything. Hmm. Because uh, the visor needs to shield your eyes from uh, Dude. grandma rays. What? Yeah, grandma, grandma rays. They smell like fabric softener and make you feel guilty for not calling. Wow. You don't need to worry. As Great. As now I need to call my grandma. Thank you. I can't even see where I'm going. Uh, no worries. We're taking you into the spaceship now. Hmm. Okay, we are go for mission to Mars. Commence countdown. Five, four. Usually you start at 10, but sure, 5's good too. Yeah. Alright, astronaut Minka, you're landing on Mars now. The monkey has landed. Oh, wow. For monkey kind, I guess. Alright, Mika. It's time to push up your visor. Whoa. It's okay. It's Mason. Astronaut Minka, you've been given a go to explore the planet's surface. But be careful. Never know what you may find up there. Yeah, like a wall substance of some kind. Martians. Greetings, Martian! Kill. Lord, you are trespassing on our planet, Earthling. Oh, wow. You could speak human. Yes, human. In Well, hey, all of it. Yeah, that's almost very selfish of them. Uh, I can't do that. Uh, how about a nice squeak toy? Oh, we can do with this. It's not good enough. Grip, give in to our demands, our pet, or we will be forced to use. <laughs> that's very presumptuous of you to think she's automatically a pet. She could have been a free monkey. Jelly bean. If you do not give in to our demands, we will be forced to turn everyone on Earth into jelly beans. Oh god, not jelly beans. I hope I am the good kind. That being the strawberry. <laughs> it's very weird. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll push it a little too far. Hmm. Yes. Don't worry, you can work with this. You've discovered why we're so angry all the time. Yes, we are angry. And why is it that we are angry? Gone. Because Roll with it. Great art materials, but we don't know how to use them. There we go. Improv. Well, you just called my mother a cow. How dare you? Ladies and gentlemen, the next act in our student comedy show, I give you the team of Stinky and uh, Baxter. Oh, it could have been Stinky in the brain. Come on! It'd be very ironic. This is my pet skunk, Stinky. She's the funny one. <laughs> What's that, Stinky? You've got a joke? Uh-huh. Oh, that's a good one. Stinky says, how about this weather, huh? It's so hot out there, I got into the oven just to cool off. <laughs> it's funny because you don't get into oven... Uh, well, actually, that does remind me of Kevin Hart's joke. Huh. So I invented a new seafood sandwich. It's called the peanut butter and jellyfish. That would be very stinging. Good for you, though. Speaking of fish, you know how fish talk to each other? On their shell phones. It's only funny because I watch Spongebob, and they actually literally do have shell phones, so... Uh... Yeah, when you make a comedian laugh, it's like a personal achievement, especially if you want to be a comedian yourself. Ripper, the next joke. Oh, all right. Uh, the next joke is. Oh, she forgot. Know what the next joke is? Hmm. Pepper, don't do this to me, please, 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 please. I, 
Did you hear about the one with the skunk and the one human? There we go. This is why note cards exist, people! Bring them! <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Yes! <laughs> a three. Yeah. You're good though. Nice shot. Dark. I know. Think that art brought our two faraway worlds together. That's why art is important, and everyone should do it. The moral of the story is: art saves humanity. Everyone needs to be an artist. Yeah. Drop your studies. Draw. Not grandma race again. We will get you back to your spaceship, you great lord. Can't believe this is working. Can't believe you're gonna actually get away with this. Great. Making your friends happy with the sake of lies. Sometimes lies are a good thing, people. But well, I'm more upset that you didn't get a chance to achieve your dreams of being a stand-up comedian, Pepper. Hey, she did. For like three jokes. What do you say we go home and watch an old bananas marathon on the See It Again network? You don't have to ask me twice. Hmm. OMG, Bob Flemingheimer. I have something to tell you, young lady. Your delivery is awful. You have no stage presence, and you had no business being on that stage. But your jokes are brilliant. Mm. Thanks. I'd like to buy the jokes you told tonight and any more good ones you might come up with. Really? A real comedian knows how to make a joke work. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's kind of how it works. Oh, and if it isn't... You might Tell me, I guess. Think the whole my skunk is the funny one routine. <laughs> it's kind of silly. Hmm. <laughs> if only he knew. You're the first monkey on Mars. <laughs> the first monkey ever on Mars. Meteor showers. Mm. I persuaded the Martians not to turn us all into jelly beans. <laughs> no, that would be bad. I did something much more important than any of that. I introduced the Martians to my favorite thing. Art. Some people call them meat morphs. From now on, <laughs> I'm gonna stick to what I do best. Art! <laughs> and I'm gonna do it right here on Earth. Mm. That's a relief. Sunil, where did you get that painting? <gasps> I mean, it's like it's like a robber going inside of a house, stealing a plasma screen TV, going outside in broad daylight in the middle of a city, and it's like with his mask on and everything. It's like because then they'd be bagels. Get it? Bagels. <laughs> this is this is how it works. Well, Baxter, it's all about the timing. <laughs> timing again. Biggest part about jokes. Many jokes would not succeed if timing was off. Let's let's just say that. Like. When it came to, like, Nostalgia Critic, and I knew one of the jokes that he had for a while run as a running gag that he's been going going with with uh, Casper is timing. And, yeah, timing has always been a thing. I got more things to look for, and... Okay, well, anyway, this is uh, Lil's Pet Shop, and... Man, I, I just pretty much had a, I just had a pepper there. I mean, like, just the entire worldview just, like, blanked out on me for a solid few moments. But, all right. Uh, this episode was all right. Uh, like every other episode, it's good to all right. Nothing's really bad about it. It's uh, the, the moral of the story is lie to your friends, and if your skunk is funnier than you, bring them to a comedy club, and you'll be fine. Yeah. This show is very educational to ch children and kids alike. So, awesome. It, it question, I, I have not checked, and maybe you guys know because I'm probably not looking in the right places. Am I the only one doing Lil's Pet Shop reactions? I do know of people who have done reactions to Lil's Pet Shop, but do, are they continuing it? Are they still doing reactions to Lil's Pet Shop? Or I'm the farthest a person has gone to reacting? Because I would like to, you know, 
get to know that person because uh, I want to know their scheduling for how they do these episodes and what they do because me and the scheduling of these episodes just oh my god but yeah I, I know I'm not the only person I'm definitely not the only person doing like MLP stuff I'm not the only person doing Starburst Sports of Evil I'm not but Lil's Pet Shop seems to be that one show that I have not seen many people actually get into so can you tell me that and I'll be good so yeah vote uh, uh, Miraculous Ladybug and uh, wander over yonder and I'll see you guys next time